Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. So we're gonna start off with a general reading and then I will have sections one, two, and three. You choose whichever one you are drawn to, to listen to. And if you like the content, liking, sharing, subscribing helps out a ton. <laughs> and I thank you for that. All right, Let's see what we have coming up here. This is a week of major, major shifts. So life experience, so there it is, <laughs> showing up already. Seven of fire. Three of air and awakening. There's the the very transitional energy, but it feels like we're not taking it anymore. So this might be a time where changes really do get sparked, where people are coming together and saying, we're not accepting this. We're not going to accept how things are handled. We're not going to let billionaires try to destroy regular people. We're, we're just not doing it anymore. Okay. And then King of Raphael. Great. So let me just go through these here. The life experience card, this circuit just sham you all. So, and the number is 16, which reduces to seven. This again, feels like in order for us to reach our highest potential as a collective, we have to be smarter about what we're seeing and then speaking up about it. So seeing it first, knowing what we're looking at, and then speaking up about it. Not allowing people to take advantage of us. And this might be in your work as well. Uh, people expecting you to hand everything to them and they don't have to do anything in return, right? So we're shaking all of this off again to reach our highest potential. So this says a significant life event. <laughs> I'm gonna stop right there. That immediately feels like the Saturn transit as of the recording of this. this these are timeless, but that is happening right now. So a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. This is realizing we don't have to be imprisoned. We don't have to put up with the intimidation, you know, people messing with our minds or institutions messing with our livelihoods. We don't have to endure it. But this change, a lot, uh, I'm not going to say a lot of you, but some of you out there who are watching this, who think that you're just entitled to things, again, it's not a big portion of the audience, but you think everyone was put on this planet to serve you, you were going to have the worst time ever. And for those of you who are not those people, they made their own bed, okay? <laughs> like, don't allow them to, you know, not take care of themselves, play the victim, and expect you to fawn all over them. That's another way of siphoning off of your energy. So wake up to that because you have something else that you need to create. So then we have seven of fire. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your battles wisely. Again, this is saying, hey, just because you're going through a hard time, it doesn't mean that my experiences are diminished. I need my energy for me so that I can get through this. Or this might be, you know, standing up against some, you know, collective wrong, okay? And people who are still brainwashed going, oh, can't believe you're doing that. You're causing trouble. Just sit down, just sit down. This is saying, no, we won't just sit down and take it. We are fed up, all right? And we are going to, like it says, stand our ground. Then we have three of air, great sadness. Take time to heal the need to forgive yourself or others. Because we're talking about this in a collective way, you know, this is all the stuff that's been going on is catching up with us. And, you know, this might get us into that place where we're having a hard time finding joy or, you know, fearing whether or not we can take care of our children, all of those kinds of things. But yeah, and they're saying being afraid of change. So this might be waking up and realizing where I work is really toxic, I need to get out of here. Or I'm in a toxic dynamic with my love partner, what have you, okay? All choices and decisions are yours. Nobody else is accountable for what you choose to do. You feel me? So we'll have to see what that is. But again, it feels like this culmination of all these strange events, which if you know, you know. You know exactly what's going on. So telling you I, I just heard there's like a great 
um, a splitting of ways. So people who are going to absolutely insist on staying in the old vibration, um, along with people who have not done the work, but they've just wanted to present like they've done the work, they're going one direction and everybody else is going to go another. Now, the way you can tell the difference, the people who've gone this other more peaceful route, they don't brag. They're not constantly giving their credentials for everything. Okay. They're not sitting there trying to diminish another person so that they feel smart and important. Right. You start picking up on that. So we have 12 and we have awakening Archangel Gabriel. Look at things from a different perspective. See, that's what it is. And that's part of that heartbreak. It might even be shock where all these realizations come crashing in a temporary standstill as in being in shock and just, did that just happen? Is that true? Wait, is that really what's been going on? Right? Those kinds of things. It's important to be yourself. Now, I want to say that this goes along with it's important to be true to yourself. So if anybody wants to shame you for, you know, we've been saying a lot about finances because that seems to be a real mess for a lot of people right now. And even if they're working really, really hard, <laughs> we're being intentionally squeezed. All right. It's absolutely intentional. And we're waking up to that and saying, ah, you know what? We're not going to take it. And you know what? I can't believe what I just heard this. I, I thought I could trust this organization or this person. I can't believe this is even happening. And now we're not doing it. Now, can this have the energy of a revolution? Yes, but we always need to learn from history so that we do not repeat it. We don't want to take power away from one structure and give it over to a psychopath who then <laughs> repeats the mistakes all over again. And this is why I say that those first set of cards might have this sort of revolutionary kind of feeling like, hey, it was so simple and in our faces all this time. Why don't we do this, this and this, right? So we're kind of waking up to that, um, but it's going to be peaceful. And this is why I say, it, you know, in a peaceful way, like saying what we've got to say, but not being crazy, right? So we have King of Raphael, warm, generous, honorable, refined. Yes, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. But more than anything with the energy of these other cards, it's like, you know, from a place of genuine emotional intelligence, that's what actually ends up breaking us free. And if you look at it throughout history, being emotionally intelligent has been associated with being crazy, having a mental illness, being a woman. Uh, right, so like, it's always been downplayed. Why? This is high intelligence. It really is high intelligence. So we have this opportunity to kind of break out of some illusion and it comes with a lot of information. Like we said, it might break your heart, but then we're going to recover and figure out how to move forward. Things that will not work. Your hatred of a group of people. And then putting that hatred out there. That is going to come slamming back on you so hard. And you'll wake up. That awakening card is in there. But then it's going to be too late to come crawling and going, oh, I'm so sorry I ever acted like that. And expecting people, I mean, people can forgive you, of course, but you've already shown what you're capable of. If you are not paying attention, this is another thing that's not going to work. If you're just constantly worried about how you feel about things and you're burying your head in the sand and then, you know, it's time to pick someone to be in power and you're not informed and you, you see what I'm saying? Like, you don't even know... You don't even know the devil that's right in front of you, right? You don't even know how your hatred has gotten in the way of your life. That's all going to come to the surface now and you can't run and hide. So let's get on to the individual groups.
group one. Let's see what we have here for you. If you'd like a personal reading with me, just go to my website, angelsouls444.com. Okay. Let's see here. We have the lovers. Oh, <laughs> you picked a good pile awakening. We got that in the general ego. Watch it. Okay. And Knight of Water. Ooh. All right. We'll talk about it here. Let me get another one out of this deck. Some of you, you need to change who you allow into your life. And it's not, you know, something where you can take all the blame. It's sort of like we get so conditioned. Six of Raphael is the other one. We get so conditioned to think a certain way that when we actually act out on that, like especially people in relationships, they'll get into these really toxic, <coughs> excuse me, toxic dynamics and, you know, think that it's normal. Well, you're waking up to that now. All right. So we start off with the lovers, the number six. Now, six with angel numbers is material manifestation, um, being hyper-focused on ego things, which is funny because we have ego in here, um, just meaning third-dimensional kinds of things. So the lovers, Archangel Raphael, uh, intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions, good health. Now, I'm only reading the cards because people are like, what does it say on there? I can't. But really, the lovers is talking about partnership, opening your heart, um, maybe deepening a connection. If you're single, is someone going to come crashing through the wall like the Kool-Aid man? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, probably not. But what this is saying is there's some clarity. Now, hang with me. There is some clarity in what lights up your heart. Now, I don't, for each of you, it's going to be different. But whatever it is, it wakes you up. It wakes you up and gets you out of your patterns. So be careful. Don't just... Um, avoid healing your patterns, whatever that might be, and go running into a situation thinking, well, the card reading said that this is what, be discerning, <laughs> okay, be discerning. The whole point of this is to tap into your heart and know what your heart is actually telling you, right? So this is Archangel Gabriel awakening. Look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. So someone may come along and... I just heard false, false partner. All right. So it's going to be a split dynamic. There's a lot of that going on these days. But for some of you, there is this feeling here of, I don't want to say that there's going to be a betrayal. There's nothing necessarily saying there's going to be a betrayal. But what I'm saying is like something kind of sparks you to wake up and you go, why am I living like this? Now, for some of you who, let's say you're single, okay, and you've just been like, heart closed off, not doing it because there's a lot of hurt, right? And we got this, like I said, the six on this card and the ego, you know, you could have really gotten your heart broken in a love partnership. Now, hang on. This is all good. Okay. I may, I'm like, you might be like, why are you putting like a negative spin on these great cards? <laughs> Just hang with me here. Cause it's more than the cards. I'm not a tarot reader. Okay, I'm not, so I don't just study the book and just regurgitate what it says. I'm an angel medium, and I'm just using the cards because that's what people are used to. And they like a visual, okay? So I'm letting this spark part of the message, but there's that. So this is Ego, Archangel Jophiel, a false sense of entrapment, okay? Being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. So this is... Almost a feeling here of not even knowing who you are, you know, because I don't know if you could tell, but he has a mask on there. And this feels like the kind of mask that we're taught to put on ourselves. If, if you're a heterosexual woman, you've heard, if you don't look this way or that way, no man's ever going to want you and you'll die alone and cats will... <laughs> Well, we, we'll stop there. But um, <laughs> you cats are not going to be friendly anymore. This just has this whole awakening thing, feeling in the sense of I know what I deserve. And I'm not going to take what I once would take. So there's a lot of individual shifting there. But I think part of that too is the collective trying to heal. 
right? So then we have Knight of Water. So that with the lovers, more often than not, this sort of like easy interpretation of that would be, you've got a love partner coming in or it's going to be a deepening of the connection. I mean, okay, take it. Take it and run with it. But that's not exactly the message here. We have Knight of Water, emotional, romantic, enthusiastic, contemplative. Falling in love. Okay, well, maybe there is. <laughs> Falling in love or wedding proposals, the need to balance emotions, an invitation to a social event. So what we're getting at here is that, yeah, these are beautiful cards. Yes, there could be a, a love offer coming in, but the fear the fear oh it's like maybe somebody comes in and sparks this realization in you and you know you have to heal from past wounding okay so raphael is healing this is six of raphael embrace your inner child new friends or rekindled relationships children or childhood so maybe there's an offer or something that just kind of like i said sparks you to awaken to your fears right and then you have to go back and do some healing you see why I'm talking this out? Because I don't want this to be the kind of thing of like, oh, there's a love offer and then some toxic partner presents themselves to you and you're like, oh, this must be it. And everything that doesn't feel right, all those red flags, that must be my problem because I'm always the problem. You feel me? So just <laughs> sit with that for a little bit. So we're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Hello, group two. Let's see what you have going on. If you would like a personal reading with me, just go to my website, angelsouls444.com. Okay. All right. So what do we have for you guys? The Emperor. Okay. The Empress. Oh, God. You may want to watch Pile 1 or Group 1. Okay. Uh, the star, y'all need to stop, and page of birth. Okay. <laughs> well, well, well. Let's get this other card deck going. There it is. Ace of Michael. Wow. Okay, well, let me if I can pick up the cards. <laughs> I get them in order here. We have to go with the three and four here. Together they make seven. All right. And we have the Empress, Archangel Gabriel. Lavish abundance. Put your dreams. Nurture yourself and others. The Emperor, Archangel Michael. Uh, organization and logic. Structure and discipline. Leadership. This is partnership right here. This is partnership. So could it be love partnership? Sure. But this, if it's going to be that, it's going to have to be like a real respect of one another very equal very equal you you know the divine masculine and the divine feminine coming together to balance each other out has to be respected and then we have the star and number on here is 17 it's archangel Jophiel. happy times make positive optimistic long-term plans on the right path but this comes from a lot of contemplation so what this feels like uh if you chose this this group this is finding your match in some way. Does it have to be love? No. Uh, it could definitely be, you know, if you have a chip on your shoulder and you go to work, you might meet your match. You might meet somebody who's not going to take it, right? And through that, through some bit of feedback, we're like, hey, don't talk to me like that. Or, wow, why do you keep going around treating everybody like that? You know you have to heal something. You know you have to let something go. But more than anything, I feel like people have already gone through that. There has already been a tough era, okay? And that might be coming to a close for you right now. You've stepped into your power and you're linking up with somebody who appreciates that in you and you can appreciate the growth and power in someone else. And it's something very, very beautiful. <laughs> something incredibly beautiful. And then we have this page of earth here. This is scholarly, dependable, patient, successful. Good news about financial matters. Wanting to do something more challenging. A new area of study. You know, these three cards here, I mean, you can apply this in so many different ways. Right? Depending on your personal situation. But this is almost like, um, like a fresh start. 
maybe it's a fresh start in career. You finally find a good match, you know, or everyone says the emperor is the boss. Why can't the, the empress be the boss? You feel me? Okay, it's dumb. But anyway, <laughs> the emperor is the authority, but she could probably, not her, this one. The emperor, she could probably whoop his butt if she had to. She done gave birth, okay? Like, if she can do that, <laughs> she can do anything, right? Okay, so this page of earth might be setting out on your own, or maybe you're getting a business partner, and you're releasing yourself from this old situation and starting something new that will free you, but the page has a lot to learn. The page might have, you know, the message, bringing the message through, but then you need to implement it and take the right steps towards that. Now, we have Ace of Michael for you as well. A wonderful new idea. There you go. That goes with that page of earth a little bit. This is the inspiration. This is the striking of like, of course, that's how it has to be. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. So again, these, you wouldn't think because one is supposed to be very feminine. Then we have this very intellectual Michael who's like <laughs> supposed to be masculine and all this stuff, whatever. But this to me is always a flash of inspiration. Like it says a great idea. And then the Empress, she's the creative life force. She's the one who's going to give birth to it. Okay. So what would be the holdup? The star is a beautiful card. Unless you don't read deep into it, unless you don't allow that message to sit with you, then you're just going along the surface and this great idea just stays in the idea stage. So this is encouraging you to not do that. Okay. <laughs> and unfortunately we're in a society where we might need this sort of backing, whether this emperor represents a person, a company, you know, you might be someone who's writing a book and you get an agent or you get a publisher. It's some sort of partnership. Okay. So we're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Hello, group three. Let's see what you have. Oh, hi. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Did you see that? There's a card that flopped right out. Let's see what you have going on. If you'd like a personal reading with me, just go to my website, angelsouls444.com. All right. That was nine of fire. We, I said nine of fire. The wind is picking up in a crazy way. If you don't know, I live in Colorado Springs. And uh, we get windstorms here. So if you hear that stuff going on in the background, mostly it's going to come across, not necessarily as howling wind, but like the crackling of my apartment. <laughs> She's always a little. Uh. Okay, so we have the sun. There's a lot of fire here. <laughs> Love it. More fire. What y'all doing? And balance. I was just hearing, I don't know, is that Adele? Is it set fire to the rain? <laughs> I have no idea. All right. So we have balance there. Dang. Boy, you know a deck is big when you set it down and it goes, Goof. <laughs> just turn my computer back on and everything. Wow. Okay. Let's get you one more card here. Get this hair in order-ish, sort of. All right. All right, you are creating something new for yourself. That immediately, <sighs> sorry, I'm just feeling this out a little bit. All right, so the Nine of Fire card says, don't give up, protect that which you've created, have courage and believe in yourself. This is like, if you didn't listen to the collective one, go back and listen to that because this is, I'm not taking it anymore. I'm fed up. You put one more thing on me. I'm going to lose it, <laughs> right? Like one more stupid thing comes through the door for me to handle. <laughs> and so she's sort of, you know, gaining what power she has left to make sure we don't get to the place of being overburdened. So that's part of standing up for yourself, setting those boundaries and saying no. Uh, and then we have the sun here, Archangel Uriel. The number is 19. Happy outcome. Brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. So this is feeling like very healthy self-expression where this nine of fire feels like I followed the rules. I've done everything I'm supposed to do. When is it ever going to end? And then you realize, oh, I have to be the one to end it and start expressing in a different way. Um, have courage to stand up for myself. Um, 
express my self-esteem so that people know, hey, I'm not just here to serve you. I'm not just here to be your emotional dumping ground. I mean, I'm happy when you share your human experiences with me, but my life doesn't need to stop or I don't need to hold myself back so that you don't have to do your own work. You feel me? So this sun also feels a little bit like a massive change. Oh, this is weird. Sort of a massive change in how people see their belief systems, which is interesting because this is nine. So like think ninth house maybe. Um, like the pure, anybody who's um, spiritual with purity or they have purity in their beliefs, they're the ones who are going to shine through. Everybody else is going to get burned out, right? It's not sustainable, which is interesting. Yeah, so then we have two of fire. Uh, you've come into your own new partnerships or contracts. Go back and watch some of these other groups. Like, they're all about partnership. Okay, interesting. Uh, new partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. You know what? This, oof. Okay, you're getting some sense of direction. You're getting you're getting a feel for how you want to move forward, what works for you, what doesn't. If you've worked at something for many, 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 many years, <laughs> whatever that is, you might be going, ah, why do I keep feeding my energy into this and I get nothing in return, not even a sense of accomplishment, not even joy or anything, like, and much less if it's something where, you know, you're not getting paid, <laughs> right? So this is sort of saying, okay, you're, you're setting all that down now, right? Because you go from the nine to the two. So you figured out how to lay down some of those burdens. And it feels like it was probably other people's burdens. Okay? Other people walking through the door and going, you're going to take care of this for me, right? Um, no, I can barely keep my head above water for myself. Like, what are you talking about? Take care of your own stuff, right? So boundary setting, a little bit of a fresh start-ish. But look at this. We have the two of fire and then we have balance. Archangel Zadkiel. Zadkiel helps us transmute. So things that are really stressing us out, we start looking. It's not so that selfish people can look at other people and go, it's all your fault. I feel this way. We're not giving into that anymore. We're seeing right through the toxic behaviors. And if you notice, those people hate that. Oh, you start talking about that, especially on social media, on the internet. Oh, the hatred. Oh, it's coming from those types of people. And they should be scared. They should be scared. Their time is done. They can't get away with that anymore. And who are they going to be if they can't be toxic, right? So this says uh, the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, wait for perfect timing. And then the two here being very much about balance. And, you know, like it says here, didn't it say in this one, new partnerships. Yeah. So somebody's partnering up with you. This kind of feels like people coming together against something else like if you are in a work situation and instead of the company paying you a livable wage you've seen this before all over the internet they're going to give you a pizza party and people are like we don't care about your stupid pizza okay <laughs> or they're going to give you company sweatshirts or something like that it's like you know they, they probably had to drop a little bit of money on that so why don't they just add that to your paycheck instead you know it's like that kind of feeling it's like we're going to start standing up or maybe striking out on your own. If you are someone who's planning on doing that, you have to do this with balance and harmony. Okay, so then we have three of Gabriel. Prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. You're moving forward. You're trying something new perhaps, okay? But definitely it comes back to this balance card. Whatever you're trying to go off and do, Make sure you have all the facts. Make sure you're watching retrogrades. Make sure you're <laughs> feeling it out and trusting your gut, okay? Gabriel is about the sacral chakra and the throat chakra. So um, not only is that speaking your truth and speaking that truth with love, but it's also the emotional body where some of the emotions are stored in the heart too, but also in the sacral chakra. Um, this, you know, that's where a lot of trauma can get stored. So Gabriel's trying to help you release some of these things so that you can move forward in a way that is now appropriate for who you are, right? So it's fascinating. All of the groups had some version of very similar messages. 
slightly different context, but I don't know. Check it out. So anyway, we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.